since the beginning of time, man has gone to the city, in all manner of boats, and all manner of ships, for all kinds of reasons. Every time is a learning process. Each time is different, and each time is the same. The sea is long periods of tranquility and quiet. Long periods of tranquility and quiet, punctuated by moments of real excitement and stark terror. The sea. Sea Scouts, just like the Boy Scouts, only older, and co-ed. That's right, girls too. As you can see, many of our activities are on the water. While the ideals, leadership, goals are the same as Boy Scouts, the skills our youth master are on the water. Most of our advancement deals with sailing and seamanship. Our unit flies the, the Jolly Roger, that's the skull and crossbones, and we proudly wear it as our unit patch. In the early 1920s, our scouts wore a black neckerchief, and one Sunday, as they were attending church, somebody made the comment, what a bunch of pirates. Well, it stuck. You see, we're the oldest continually operating sea scout ship in the nation. What we do is adventure. The goal is growth, and the path is seamanship. We're Ship 24, the Sea Scouts. As you can see, Jolly, the schooner, is not our only boat. In addition to Jolly, there's our sunfish and dolphins, Hux No. 9, the houseboat we rented on the summer cruise in 2005 and motored on the upper Mississippi, and our ensign. Ensigns make wonderful training boats for clumsy sailors. That's new youth and older adults. In January of 2003, she was pretty much destroyed when a tornado hit the Houston Yacht Club. The hull was intact but full of water and everything above deck was shambles, completely wrecked. For once we didn't quite know what to do. Sailors really hate to see a boat die. A few weeks later, while we were still pondering what to do, a member of the Houston Yacht Club offered to sponsor our youth in the Ensign Nationals. That's the best sailors from all over the United States. But of course, we had to have a boat. So we bought the wire for the rigging found a mast, bay for it actually, 
Most people hate to see grown men cry. Fabricated what parts we couldn't otherwise acquire and borrowed a new suit of sails. New to us, that is. Four of our youth got to compete with the best ensign sailors in the United States. Three boys and a girl, ages 18, 17, 16, and 14. Of the 26 boats competing, our ensign was 23rd overall. So you know that somewhere there's three boat crews that were beaten by our teenagers. You know they hated themselves for it. Our guys did this by keeping their boat in the race. Nothing special, nothing spectacular. But Ship 24 isn't all about boats and sailing and races and hard work. Sometimes it's parades. We've had boats, I mean floats, and several parades. The Heights Festival, the Clear Lake Christmas Boat Parade, and of course Mardi Gras in Galveston. It's not really the boats that are important, although without them it's really hard to have a Sea Scout program. We tried walking on water, but it's too much like backpacking. The most important part of our ship is our scouts. If you want to do what our youth do and be what they are, join us. Ship 24, the Jolly Roger. Joining isn't hard, we'll help you fill out the papers. It's not like enlisting in the Navy. If you're not happy and don't like it, we will let you quit. The scout law says that a scout is thrifty and there are costs to being a part of Ship 24. But we've tried to organize things so that the money you spend becoming a sea scout purchases what you need to be a sea scout. We have a boarding manual that explains all that stuff and we'll give you a copy when you visit your first meeting.